So now I'm going to show you a little bit about the manual, operation manual. This is the Osborne 3500 and here's the model number for you. <clears throat> Here are the specs on the Osborne itself. We put it that down from the top. Got the bricks in. show you some of the inside if I can. Let me turn it. Sealed it. And the round, oh, it's all sealed up uh -huh. and sealed in there. Now, this installation book and manual is fantastic. We have burn times, maintenance, everything. So it's really, really nice. So this is the flue for our new insert. We What we did this morning, <clears throat> and let me show you, it is 25 feet long. And we have the metal pipe here. Uh, we wrapped it with insulation and it has an overlap of about an inch. We uh, put it down with this adhesive right onto the pipe itself. There is a sticky wrap, the sticky wrap, um, sure tape, we put, as we were doing the insulation, every two feet, we put some of this tape on to hold it in place. Then what we did was this metal piece here is called a sack. And the sack, <clears throat> we strapped one end down and pulled the sack all the way up to the 25 foot run of the piping. And this is all taped all the way down. Baby, be careful, okay? Baby, do you need help up there? Are you going to be able to handle this thing all by yourself? Well, what's going to happen is probably I'm going to get this halfway up. And you're going to have to put the letter, and then Joseph's going to help get the rear part up to it. Okay. Once I get it up here, then I'll be all right. Okay. But this is getting But this makes it a lot easier than him trying to grab it and climb up. Yeah.
This is a mess, but we got the insert in. It is 540 pounds between my husband, I, and my son. We rolled it in on casters from outside and we we had to kind of move it in here like subscribe and hit that little bell toodles